Thank you for joining us for the KHSC Weekly Wrap Up. I'm Erin Briscoe Clark. Independence High School students turned teachers for the day and shared their knowledge of energy with local elementary and middle school students. So you're there? Oh, you're there. You're flip it upside down. This is the first time in a about three years that we've been able to come back and be in the classroom with the students at Lakeside and we're really excited to be here. There's a sense of renewed energy inside the classrooms at Lakeside School District. 38 juniors from Independence High School's Energy and Utilities Career Academy are teaching lessons focused on petroleum, wind, solar, hydropower, hydrogen fuel cell, and the science of energy to third through eighth graders. In this fifth grade class, students first learned about storage energy. And then we have a hands-on activity where they'll make a paper airplane and they'll make a launcher and they'll pull it back. We'll demonstrate how that stores the energy and they release it and we'll make it a competition and hopefully it's a fun hands-on activity for them. I, I find it very fun and really engaging. I love talking to the students, see how they're like applying their information to their project. It's really interesting and I think it's like great like experience if you want to be a teacher. The Energy and Utilities Career Academy is a three-year program that starts the sophomore year. Students learn about energy in our society while also learning real-world skills such as communication, teamwork, and problem solving. I've learned a lot about energy science and just how it affects the environment because I didn't know how much what we do and how much we know about the environment affects everything around us. Independence and Lakeside have partnered on Energy Day since 2013. Energy Academy teachers say they hope their students walk out of the classroom with more confidence. I hope that they walk away with a feeling that they are ambassadors for our uh, academy at Independence, that they show what's available at the high school level, and also just kind of show a world of, of energy that I, at elementary school level, I don't think I ever really learned about energy. So this is something very important to society, and I think it's good that they are um, the ones that show that to these younger kids. Oh, that was Centennial High School's We the People team has been crowned regional champs at the We the People congressional hearings held over the weekend. Nearly 150 students from several local high schools put their knowledge of the U.S. Constitution to the test at the annual competition hosted by Kern County Superintendent of Schools. Teams competed for the title in either the 20th or 22nd Congressional District. Each team presented testimony in two rounds of six mock congressional hearings and answered questions posed by judges involving historical congressional issues. Congrats to the 20th Congressional District winners. First place, Centennial High School. Second place, Liberty High School. And congrats to the 22nd Congressional District winners, First place, Arvin High School. Second place, Golden Valley High School. Third place, West High School. Overall regional winners, Centennial High School will move on to represent Kern County in the state championship to be held in early 2023. There's so many things that we can, you know, let limit us. But you know what? If we change our mind about it, um, whatever you believe, you can achieve it. It was a day of inspiration, innovation, and stories shared of overcoming obstacles to achieve success at the Latina Women in STEM conference held at SeaTech last week. Guest speakers from various career fields in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics offered words of motivation to young ladies involved in the district's PODER program. PODER is short for providing opportunities for development, empowerment, and resilience. The mentorship program encourages Latina girls to set goals, stay motivated while improving in school, gaining confidence, and exploring career and college opportunities. You are the creator of your own pathway. You have the choice to make the change for yourself and for whoever's behind you. Once you decide, hey, I'm gonna go to college, I'm gonna get certified, I'm gonna go take those exams that are really, really hard to pass, um, then you are also opening the door for generational change. We wanna thank the following panelists for taking the time out of their busy lives to encourage our students. Dolores Salgado, civil engineer with Adura. Paulina Christensen, IT manager for ERA. Jeannie Bertolaccini, Principal Architect and Co-Owner of Ordiz Melby Architects, Inc. Connie Gonzalez, Mesa Director for Bakersfield College. And Amira Flores, Director for Starbase Edwards, Edwards Air Force Base. As the weather gets colder, Del Oro High School wants to ensure students stay warm. The school recently collected coats, clothing, and other donations to stock the Sun Shack, which supports students in need of clothing and personal items. 
Kern Family Healthcare donated $1,000 to purchase hygiene kits and another $1,000 was donated by family and friends of staff members for additional supplies. We want to thank everyone who opened up their hearts and donated to support our students. Donations can still be made to the Sun Shack by visiting the student web store located under activities on Del Oro High School's webpage. Thank you for watching the KHSC Weekly Wrap Up. To view more videos from across the district, please visit the Kern High School District Public Information YouTube channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.